I'm Anil Kumar and now let us find derivative of the given function using first principle. The function is 1 over square root of x plus 2. So the definition is f dash x is equals to limit h approaches 0. For the function it is f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now let's substitute x plus h for x. So what do we get? We get 1 over square root of x plus h plus 2 minus 1 over f of x will be square root of x plus 2 divided by h, right? Now at this stage we'll cross multiply so we get limit h approaches 0. When we cross multiply we get square root of x plus 2 minus square root of x plus h plus 2 divided by h times all this product of these two which is square root of x plus h plus 2 times square root of x plus 2 right so that is what we get to further simplify we need to rationalize all square root functions should be rationalized to further simplify so we have square root of x plus h plus 2 divided by h times square root of x plus h plus 2 times square root of x plus 2. To rationalize conjugate of this is square root of x plus 2 plus square root of x plus h plus 2 divided by square root of x plus 2 plus square root of x plus h plus 2, right? Now, we'll use difference of squares in the numerator. That means x plus 2 minus x plus h plus 2 divided by the product of these two. So that means h times square root of x plus h plus 2 times square root of x plus 2 times product this right sum of this x plus 2 plus square root of x plus h plus 2 that is what you get now if you simplify the numerator you get limit h approaches 0 x plus 2 minus x plus h plus 2 gives you minus h in the numerator divided by all this right so h times square root of x plus h plus 2 times square root of x plus 2 times square root of x plus 2 plus square root of x plus h plus 2. Correct. Now as you can see we can cancel out h and h. Once we do that we can substitute h equals to 0 and find the limits. So let me do it on this side now. So, so what we get here is f dash x is equals to minus 1 over, so if I write h equals to 0, I get square root x plus 2 times square root x plus 2 times square root x plus 2. And this is, here also h and h, h becomes 0, so we get 2 so that is one part times 2 times square root x plus 2, right? So that is what we get. x plus 2 plus x plus 2 gives 2 times, right? So, so we could write this as minus 1 over. So we have 2 times x plus 2, I mean x plus 2 to the power of 3 over 2. Do you see that? 3 over 2. 1, 2, 3. So that is cube and that is square root. So that is that is the result for the derivative of the given function, right? So so what we get here is that the derivative of the function is equals to negative value, negative 1 over 2 times x plus 2 to the power of 3 over 2. From here, you can clearly see that the function is not differentiable 
at x equals to minus 2, right? So we say not differentiable. at x equals to minus 2. You can also see the function is at x equals to minus 2 you get 0 in the denominator, right? So x equals to minus 2 is not in the domain of the function. You know the domain of the function is x greater than minus 2, right? So minus 2 is not in the domain of the function also, right? So the domain of this derivative and the function in this particular case is same. So the domain of the derivative is x greater than minus 2. So that is the domain of your derivative, right? Now, from the first derivative, we can see the equation and figure out whether it is differentiable at a point or not. So we know it is not differentiable at x equals to minus 2 since it gives you 0 in the denominator, right? However, there are a lot of complications sometimes working with such functions, but these are simple steps to follow to get the right result. I hope you understand and appreciate it. And with this, we have completed uh, quite a few examples on finding derivative using first principle. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.